My mother, Lashon, came from Hungary. My father was all of 16 when he had to leave Europe. He was the last of his family to get out of Germany before Kristallnacht. He came to America. He lived in Washington Heights, along with all the other Germans in Washington Heights. They worked together in the same factory, and the Balabosla factory matched them up, and they made a nice shidduch. Rabbi Vorhand had the brilliant insight to call Mordechai and Blima Khan and ask them if they would start a school for special children. They had four children and they started the school. It's one thing to say, you know, this needs to be done. It's, you know, this is a terrible thing that's going on. We got to fix this. But to actually fix it is, is a tremendous course. My mother-in-law, Mrs. Khan, Mrs. Blanche Khan, she was the one that was really the brains behind the organization. He was the business force behind the organization, make sure that it grew, make sure the funds were coming in, make sure everyone got paid. My grandmother was a very educated lady. She had this burning desire to make other people's lives better. And the kids looked at them as alternate parents, old grandparents. They were amazing. At the time, nobody was doing that. And they went out off the, off the beaten path and blazed the trail for the rest of us. So Kolakavo to them, and Kolakavo to you, the supporters of Hask, who come and donate and participate and show your love for Hask and Camp Hask. Being from the older grandchildren, I got to see how the whole organization has changed. You know, where they started out just with a handful of children, then from a school, developed into camp, and then to a residential home. It's unbelievable. This upcoming summer will be the 51st summer of Camp Hask. And it grew from 30 some odd children to what it is today. Hask. The love, the pureness, just the, the energy there is so amazing that it just leaves an incredible, indelible impression. They're in the happiest place in the world, the most challenging, but the most happiest. That's Hask. The Khan's vision and their foresight to make sure that every member of Kla Yisrael has access to our heritage, has a place that they belong, and it all started by the great pioneers of Mordechai and Blima. They left a very big legacy to the world. The legacy is that you see so many special needs individuals come to shul. They do the regular stuff. They daven, they go to yeshiva. They paved the way for the special needs population in our community. There was a selfless mentality and that legacy would last forever. Today, Almost every mainstream camp has at least one or two bunks of special needs. Hask was the first on the globe. Any institution that caters to that population, it's all in honor and it's all outflow of their work from 50 years ago. We can declare with a certainty that they were the progenitors of special education. Shaliva Shalachem. Shalom.